Hey guys, it's Mark from Highstrung Audio. Today we're reviewing the Matrix Audio Element H USB generator. The Element H is a brand new product and retails for $329.99. It's currently available online. You can get it at Power Holdings Incorporated. Um, so the Element H comes with two plates, one for a mini tower and one for a regular size computer. Uh, we have a PCI <clears throat> E port on the bottom of the card. It goes right into the computer. It's PC compatible only. Works with Windows 8 through 10. The Element H has three, um, three selections for uh, power. You have external, which you can use a switching or a linear power supply. Uh, you have internal, which you can use the internal power supply of your computer. It comes with a cable to do that. And the third one is when you switch the power off and it'll use the power from the USB on the component that you're plugging it into. Uh, all right, so what is a USB regenerator? Basically, this is designed to enhance your audio experience by reducing noise uh, in your computer using uh, filters that are really high quality capacitors. Uh, the second thing it does, it has a femtosecond clock made by Christec. It's a very good uh, clock and that uh, handles the digital timing. It eliminates errors, which errors, you know, causes jitter. And ultimately this does enhance your audio experience. So in the past few years, I've actually purchased um, a few USB generators, regenerators, and all of them were either sold or returned. Um, my experience, I'll talk about one of them. One of them was about $350. And not only was it a USB regenerator, it also had, some, it claimed something like galvanic isolation. It's a whole thing you could read about it online. It's kind of boring. But anyway, not only did it not help the uh, audio signal, uh, I actually saw a degradation in audio quality. So I really wasn't happy. I tied up $350 for a couple weeks, at least until I returned the item. And ever since then, I was kind of turned off from any type of regeneration product. So fast forward now, I mean, I got the Element H. Uh, I was asked to review this. I promise you, I, I didn't expect much from this um, just because of my past experiences, but I was pleasantly surprised. Um, this. All right, so let's get into some listening impressions. When I first turned on my stereo with this in it, I immediately heard the depth and the layering um, of the high frequencies and I was actually taken aback by it because I didn't expect it So it sounded like the instruments and the vocals were detached from the background Which I really haven't heard in any upgrade that I've done so far. So this thing was doing its it really was doing its thing It was working um, I would kept listening longer and then I realized that it was such a, uh, a difference in sound that the tonal properties of the music actually changed the color the tonal color the the overall image um which was just incredible i had no uh expectations for this thing i really didn't know um that i, I have no idea why this as opposed to the other regenerating units um uh, is producing a really good sound especially because the one that i told you about for 350 dollars that also had the Christec femto clock uh chip in it and this has the same chip. Um, one theory that I have is that the other unit is a separate unit outside the computer. So uh, you run the computer, the USB port on your regular computer into that unit. So you're having another item in your signal path. This eliminates that. This goes right into your computer. It replaces the crappy USB on your computer um, with its own three, uh, USB 3.0 port. And it goes from the computer directly to your source. So that could be one theory. Um, another theory is that I think the Element H uses better capacitors just from the way it sounds. I didn't hear any degradation in resolution or micro detail. So, um, the fact that it, it was not, you know, the resolution did not go down, um, by putting this in the audio path is a very good sign of the design, the internal design of this, which I'll now reminds me to talk about the actual case. So the casing of the Element H is anodized aluminum. Um, this has two functions and it's a mechanical shield for noise and it also acts as a heat sink which is really nice uh, it has a, a chamfered edge on it so you could actually see the silver and the aluminum it has a really expensive look and i kind of like it 
even though the uh, the, the, the side uh, panels are pressed like a regular computer, they actually feel like they were, um, the edges were smooth, so it doesn't have that cheap rough feel like a, you know, like a, like a, you know, one of those cheap PCs. So it has a very expensive feeling to it. For my testing, what I used was an iFi iPower external power supply. And the results were very good. That is where I, you know, I saw a really nice clean sound, like I told you before, layered, 3D, airy, and all that stuff. I did something very interesting after that. I took that out um, and I used a battery power supply. It's something I bought on Amazon. It's a $125 external battery. It's like a 50,000 milliamp um, battery pack that's, that has different voltage settings. I set it to 12 volts and I plugged it into this. And now I'm, my breath was taken away because the sound quality went up even further. Um, it was increased dynamics, increased sound stage. It just sounded better. It was more lucid. It was more um, impactful and it took it to another level. So when I thought it couldn't get any better, uh, it went several notches up above that, which I was really shocked. The only problem with the battery power is it didn't have the ability to uh, keep up with the amp on this, and then the battery would shut off after about one and a half minutes. So that is not gonna be a viable option. Um, now, because I have a lot of experience with uh, linear power supplies and using battery power, I can tell you that using a battery is very similar to a very expensive linear power supply. So my impressions with the battery are probably gonna be similar to something like an S-Booster. Um, now, I do have one on the way to me. I actually uh, purchased one because I'm gonna be keeping this, by the way, I'm actually purchasing this and putting it in my own PC. And this is gonna be my new, um, this is gonna be my new method of transport for getting music into my DAC, just because it sounds so good. And once I have this, I really don't wanna go down in sound quality. So I actually, um, I have an S-Booster on the way to me. I'm gonna do a part two this, of this review, and I'm gonna actually uh, detail on how good the S-Booster is, if it's the same as the battery or you know better, or how, and how it compares to the, the switching power supply. Um, all in all, I was extremely impressed with the Element H. Like I said, Matrix did, did a fantastic job in designing this. Um, now, I'm gonna talk about something, another interesting aspect of the Element H, and that is using it with their um, their USB cable. Now I'm very picky with my cables, very picky. I'm actually an AudioQuest um, fan and I'm actually an AudioQuest dealer. I sell, you know, I sell AudioQuest on the side and so I have, uh, you know, I have a bias towards AudioQuest. However, um, Matrix Audio was kind enough to send me a loaner cable, uh, which was their USB cable. It retails for about a hundred bucks and I wasn't expecting much. And I'm, like I said, I'm very picky with cables. I often rent cables on um, from a website called The Cable Company. A couple times a year, I get a whole bunch of USB cables and I compare them to the cables that I own personally. And I always end up sending them back, um, not being impressed with them. So the, car the two current USB cables that I have right now are the AudioQuest Carbon, um, which has a little bit of silver in it. It has, you know, it's a very clean sound. It can be edgy on some components. So um, I have another one called the Cardis Clear, which is not edgy at all. It's complete, you know, it's uh, oxygen free uh, copper. It's a very pure copper um, and it sounds very good with almost anything. So I end up using the, the Cardis on most of my uh, components. I hooked up the, the uh, Matrix Audio USB cable and I was really shocked because it sounded better than both of my cables. Um, what it sounded like was a really good silver cable. It had increased clarity, increased microdynamics without the harshness, which is what you would want from any USB cable. So that is another item I'm gonna be purchasing from Matrix Audio. Um, so the Matrix Audio USB cable together with this, uh, for me, really enhanced my sound. It took it to another level. Um, this is going to be probably one of including, I mean, Besides my preamp, which I, you know, my pre-90, this is gonna be the most significant audio upgrade in my system in a while. Um, I didn't think this would work. Um, I'll be honest with you, and I was very surprised um, with, the, with the audio quality coming out of this. Now, just to let you guys know, I did go back and forth between the regular USB port and this port on my, um, the, the Element H port. I went back and forth a couple times just to make sure what I was hearing was correct. I even did it 
a day, two days after I went back and forth just to make sure. And um, meaning I played it with use different sources and every, in every source in every instance, it sounded better. And, uh, you know, when I do reviews, I also break this in. Um, I let it run for about a week. And um, I noticed that it does get a little bit uh, better sounding after about one week, which is, you know, probably over 100 hours of, uh, of runtime. All right, guys, that concludes the review of the Element H. We really appreciate all the support and feedback we're getting. Um, it really means a lot to me personally. And uh, if you can support the channel, it does take a lot of my time and I do spend a lot of money on components. I don't get anything for free. So these reviews are um you know they're expensive so uh, you know helping support us would be great um giving us a thumbs up does help our ranking so if you can do that it really would be appreciated and if you have friends in the audio um field that listen to these things if you can share the videos just to get our view count up that would also be great and um once again thanks and we will see you on the next review